Hello everybody, happy Friday. Hello, hello, it's Tina here. I hope that everybody can see me and can hear me. So please give me a thumb up or type a comment and let me know that I am technically online. <laughs> Physically, I'm here, I know that. So please let me know if I am online, if you can see me. Natalie, okay, so I can see some are coming. I will wait a couple of seconds. Hi, Sherry, I get a thumb up. That's great, that's great, that's great. Okay, so happy Friday to all of you out there, all of our beautiful face yoga method family, kind of. You are all, hi you are all in thank you Angela hi Liliana hi Sherry hi Bessie hi Joe okay 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 so today's topic and I would love to really feel this so we will start with doing an exercise and I want to make you feel how you could change an exercise or adjust an exercise and um, I really want you to understand why sometimes hi maria mu um why um sometimes you don't get the results maybe you want to achieve so it's always it's always um something very very important because we often see some comments or some um some photos or just some posts where some of you are like I'm doing face yoga, but I'm not getting the results I want to. I'm seeing, or another one, um, I'm seeing all these beautiful um, before after photos here. I cannot share my pictures because there are no results. So I definitely want to talk about that today and let you know what you can change and why you may not see the results you want to see. There are different, I mean, there are so many, but we will talk about some of the reasons today. But um, first of all, please let me know in the comments, have you been there? Have you been here in this community or on social media somewhere, not only on the face yoga method, but have you been there? And have you had these thoughts like, mm, I'm not getting the results I want. So I really want to know, type in the comment, let me know, um, because it's really, really um, important for me to know if you have been there, maybe because you were doing, not, you were not sure which exercises you should do, or for what reason, for whatever reason. So just let me know, type in, I have been there, or if you have seen um, photos from somebody where you're like, oh my gosh, she is getting amazing results, I want to do that. I want to have these results too. And believe me, everybody, including myself, has been there, I think. So just let me know. Okay. Talking about um, the different results we can get. So actually, I want to start with doing an exercise together with you so that you really, Sherry, you have also been there. Yes, great. Um, okay, okay, okay. I can see that. Great. Okay, we will do an exercise and then I will, I will explain why some things may not come up the way you want them to come up in your face. So we will do, or let's think about, um, let's think about you have um, these 11 lines here, these wrinkles between your eyebrows, or maybe you have um, deep lines on your forehead, or maybe you have um, droopy eyelids, or you have crow's feet, or I don't know, um, whatever, whatever in this area, right? And then you, you, you're you looking here on this side on Facebook, in the, in the community maybe, maybe you are on social media somewhere else, and you find poses and exercises from Fumiko on YouTube or Pinterest or Instagram, and you're searching and you're like, hey, I want to change something here and I don't like these deep 11 lines. Um, and you find the um, forehead lift. And I mean, as the word says, the forehead lift, mm -hmm. this sounds so good. So, and you decide to, okay, 
I would do four, I don't know, 14 days in a row, every morning I will do my forehead lift. And let's do it together right now so that I can explain um, talking about the exercise and you know what I mean. So when you are a little bit into face yoga, you know that everything is connected. So you decided to do the forehead lift even if you have droopy eyelids because you know it's not just the forehead. The forehead is directly connected to the eye area and maybe you already know, hey, the forehead lift is amazing because I can adjust the position of my hands. I can adjust um, we can adjust the pressure, the push, we can adjust something um, to make it happen that it works against 11 lines, that it works against horizontal lines, that it works against droopy eyelids. So you are there, okay? And you decide, okay, let's try it. Let's give it a try. I will do this exercise for 14 days. So let's do it together. Greetings from Poland. Greetings to you, Alexandra. So you place your hands like this. You use this, just this inner part or you form like two L shapes and you place them along your hairline like this. So your thumbs are directly in front of your ears and your, your, um, your index fingers are directly on your hair or right under your hairline. And then, and don't look at my gray hair shining. <laughs> I have to dye my hair this weekend. Okay, so we do it like this. Shoulders are relaxed, everything is relaxed, you're sitting in a good posture or standing. And now you push back your entire hands in a 45 degree angle this way. So 45 degree angle up and back, right? And you can already see my eyebrows rising, right? So it's a good one for so many things. Then you open your eyes just a little bit wider keep the push or the pull and look down with your gaze only for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and come out of the pose, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, relax everything and let's do one more set. Place your hands on your hairline push up and you really feel that, right? It feels so good and it opens your eyes so wide. So push up and look down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Relax your shoulders. 3, 2, 1. Close your eyes, come out of the pose, take a deep breath in and breathe out and open your eyes. Okay, so, hi Jenny. Let's, um, let's think of you have done this for 14 days. And you know that Fumiko always says, take before, um, don't dye your hair gray. Thank you, thank you so much. You're so true. I'm so waiting for the moment where I stop doing it. Um, so, and you know, Fumiko always says, take your before after pictures, but you haven't because, ah, uh, mm, uh, I don't need to do that. I will see the changes, la la la. And after um, 14 days, you look into the mirror and you're like, nothing has changed. Excuse me, nothing has changed. And there is the first thing. We are looking into the mirror, only seeing the bad things. We are not seeing positive changes. Sorry, no, we are not. We have to take the before after photos Put them next to each other at the same lightning at the same time of the day and then and then we will see really see the difference sherry why does the back of my neck hurt when i do the forehead lift because you push your head against your hands you would never do that and because you are tensing your shoulders keep everything light and relaxed just place your hands there and very gently push back and then don't do, don't do this. Don't push with your head against your hands. It's and your hands back to your head. It's a very, it's just this. It's a very, very light and my shoulders are still relaxed. We are talking about the face. So no need to put a lot of effort in your push. Very, very gentle. 
Okay, so that's the first thing. Maybe you don't see the changes. That's why we are all here. Post your before after pictures. We will let you know if there are changes. The next thing is, of course, everybody is different, right? So everybody's face is different and everybody... <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. That was exactly the thing. Yes. Um, everybody's um, bone shapes and face structure and muscle structure is different. When I have done or when I have created these four lines, in my, in my um, case, for the last 40 years, right? For the last 40 years, because I'm turning 50 for the last 40 years because I have this habit, like constantly putting this tension between my eyebrows. And I see a picture of a younger woman who has some lines here, but they haven't been there since 40 years. They have been there since a couple of years. She will get faster results, of course, why? Because everything that is underneath what you can see from the outside, like the skin and the wrinkles, it is so much more dense. It's like, I don't want to say it, but it is like kind of scar tissue. It is really, really dense. It's not like just, oh, there is a wrinkle that has formed just because of the last three years. No, my wrinkle is dense and it is sticky and it is stubborn it is there so i need more time and when i have kind of a different shape let's say when my skull has these high cheekbones my cheeks will always look lifted no matter if everything is sagging down in terms of facial fat muscles tissue everything um, the bones will still be there, still be very high, still be very prominent. I will always look like I have beautiful cheek muscles, even if there are no cheek muscles. But if I have flat, a flat skull in this area, in my mid face, I have to do a ton more work to really get these rosy cheeks here, these ones, and I have to do a ton of work every day because I have a bony face. So um, to, to get these nice little rosy cheekbones, I have to do a lot of work every single day, right? And that's a difference just because of the shape of my bones. Another reason is, of course, the environment I'm living in. Am I quite healthy? Am I drinking enough? Am I? And my lifestyle, of course, it's, it's more about the entire lifestyle. Am I um, smoking? Am I working out my entire body? Am I working on my posture? If I want to get rid of my double chin, I can do the exercises, but if I'm still in this posture, my double chin will never go away. Same with my 11 lines. When I'm constantly in this position with tense neck and tense shoulders, no way you will ever, forever have these lines you have to release the tension first. If you release the tension from your neck and your shoulder area, then, and you correct your posture, then you are able to give your face muscles the chance to work the correct way or the way you want them to work, right? So for example, when I'm rounding my shoulders all the time, because I'm sitting in front of the computer, I'm reading, I'm watching TV, I'm walking, I'm driving my car. So I'm constantly in this position. And what do I have to do? The first thing that happens is that my body and my brain makes my eyes to look horizontal again. And I will do this, right? Because I need the help from each and every single muscle to bring my head back up. And there they are, the horizontal lines. And I'm then in this position. And what does that mean? That means that these muscles in the back of my neck are constantly restricted, are constantly tense, 
And when I'm tense here, I cannot relax my forehead because this is actually one muscle. The frontalis muscle has two bellies, one here and one in the back. And if the one in the back is tense, we cannot relax this one. This one will be tense too, creating these lines and these lines. So another thing is bad habits. Of course, when I am, and I'm speaking from myself, I'm because I'm doing that constantly. When I'm doing the exercises every morning, let's assume for 20 minutes, every single morning, I'm doing my routine every single day and nothing changes. Why? Because I'm working on these lines for 20 minutes and then I'm sitting in front of my computer working for eight hours, being concentrated, being angry because of this person at work and this person at work and then my, my teenagers are coming and they are uh, not taking off their, their shoes and, they are, and I'm constantly um, creating these lines during the day because I'm concentrated, because I'm getting angry, because I'm, I don't know what, but I'm constantly doing this. Will they ever go away? No. 20 minutes against um, eight hours of work or let's say two hours of work. That's enough. When I'm frowning, sorry, I have to, <laughs> have to stretch them out. Um, when I'm working and or when I'm having a habit and I'm doing that a thousand, uh, let's say hundreds of times every day. And that's what happened. You can see my dancing eyebrow. It's, it's still there after four years of face yoga, of course. Um, but that is the point when you do your exercises and you are quite good in it. You do it every single day, but you are not getting to the root cause, the habit that you are doing. You will never get rid of these wrinkles. So coming back to the beginning, um, when you do not see the results, step back and think about why. Always ask this question, why? It's not that oh, face yoga is nothing for me. Face yoga doesn't work for me. Face yoga works for everybody. Of course, it's muscles, it's easy, it's just a few exercises, right? But on top of that, it's so much more. So always ask yourself why. And there is a reason, I promise you. I, pro I And we will find them together, of course. Um, there is a reason and you need to find it. When you have a deeper nasolabial fold on one line, when you are having these wrinkles under your eye, when you have a deeper um, marionette line on this side, maybe you are a side sleeper, smashing your face into the pillow like this um, all night long, right? And you can do your exercises like crazy. Um, if you don't get rid of this habit or this lifestyle thing, like sleeping on your side, that way you can still sleep on your side, but you have to stop smashing your face. Um, these wrinkles will never go away. You can do exercises like crazy. And somebody else who is doing the forehead freeze and on top relaxes the neck and the shoulders, on top is getting their eyesight checked, which I should do, by the way, which is drinking, which is working on their posture, drinking a lot of hot water, of course, <laughs> working on their body posture, correcting the head position all the time, this person will have absolutely more and better results in the same amount of time. It is like it is. When you do, um, when you want to get a six pack, right? You're working your ab muscles out. You're working them out every single day for 20 minutes. And you want to get these results and let's say you take longer, you take six weeks, you're doing your app exercises and then you see these before after pictures from somebody else with these beautiful app muscles like the six pack or eight pack or whatever and you're like, I'm not getting the same results. And the other person 
has started to eat healthy, has started to do something for the entire body, has started to change the way she's thinking about herself, thinking about her body, she loves herself, she's doing the exercises, eating healthy, do all this and you are still going to McDonald's five times every week, you're not eating veggies and not eating proteins, there is nothing your body can build up muscles because you're not nourishing your body, right? It's the same. You will never see your abs, even if they are there. Of course they are there. <laughs> Otherwise you could not stand like this. Um, but you will not see the same results. Of course not, right? So the same with when you are using a new cream and somebody else is using this new cream and she's getting brilliant results and you are not yes sorry because your skin conditions are completely different this person maybe lives in a very humid um, climate and the humidity constantly um, keeps her skin moist and works with the oils and butters she's putting on her skin and you are living in a very dry climate you cannot just put cream on your face when you live in a dry climate on top you have to use a toner a serum whatever it's always it is it always comes down to the question why am i not getting the results and there is an answer there always is an answer and if you don't find it we are here wherever you want you can ask your questions everywhere here on the fan page, in the Face Yoga Method community, on Instagram, we will always help you out. And um, yeah, it is, at least it is that easy. But if we want to get the most benefits out of face yoga, we have to see face yoga like Fumiko. It is a lifestyle. It is not just doing poses and exercises. And it is a holistic concept. It is way more than just five minutes exercises in the morning. Okay, face yogis, let me see if I have some questions here. All makes perfect sense, Tina, thank you. Okay, that's good. It is so important that you understand these small pieces um, to, net, to not lose uh, motivation. And um, no, if you struggle, just let us know, we are here. Okay, so yes, it makes sense. Thank you so much. Okay, I learned not to use forehead. Great. What about bulldog chin? I will talk about it. Hey, not today, but I will absolutely. Um, okay, I don't see so many questions, which is good. Okay, I just want to let you know. Come on any kind of social media channel tomorrow because we will have a special announcement tomorrow and I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss it. So please, 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 tomorrow morning when you wake up, not directly when you wake up, of course, but let's say after breakfast or after you work out or after your, I don't know what, come here, go to our Instagram account, go to wherever you want, where you find the face yoga method and um, be prepared because this is going to be amazing. This is going to be an, a huge announcement. Okay, so hoo -hoo, I don't want to say more. I want to. I could go on talking about it for an hour, but I don't want to. I want to, but I will not. Okay, beautiful face yogis. On this wonderful Friday, just enjoy. Enjoy your weekend like crazy, even if you have to work or whatever, enjoy it. You are a face yogi, you are beautiful. And yeah, just do some self-care because that's what we all deserve and what we all yeah, should do every single day. And especially at the weekend, it's self-care Sunday. Let's find something we can do for ourselves. Bye bye face yogis, love you.